Well, what are we fixing today? Today, nice spring day at the home front. The garden needs some work. So over the winter, I've dropped some wood ash from the pellet stove on there. And I'm afraid it's getting a little pH high. So I dropped some sulfur pellets in there. So that all needs to get mixed up and start working on itself. Our job today is that. All right. So this is set. I don't even know if I used it last year, but I do know that sometime last year I gave it a push by accident with one of the cars. Ah. And knock this wheel off. So I gotta get that back on. Now try to tap it on. Tappy tap it tap. Take it off. Put that back here. That's that. Washers. Oh, I can switch holes. Anyway. Let's pull this out. Let's see if I can tap you tap this in. Get in here in the vice. See if I can do something about that. Hmm. Well, here's a pry bar. This is a plastic rim. It's distorting right here. So it's a little distorted. It'll come around. No, oh, a little. Roll. Okay, let's put this back on. Let's think it matters which way is out. It's already coming back to shape. Okay, apparently this is a little bit too crank tight but it won't tighten that too. That's what can't work. But here we go. Not so much for that. That was the easy part. 
the oil, wipe around the thing. I mean, this thing gets used about a, maybe two hours, maybe an hour a year. Oil is brown, not black. Not the fill mark. It's within the fill mark if you do that. So if you screw it down, I think it's above the fill mark. I never know which way this is supposed to be done. Are you supposed to thread it in and check it? No, it's alright. It's right at the full mark when I screw it in. Hold it on there. So I'm going to take it because that's a safer place. So let's do that. These things don't have an oil pump. They have a splash. I bet you I can is these outside tines. I'm pretty sure the size I need is in here. Oh, look. All right. This one on this side, this one on this side. I think this one's gonna work. This way. Wait for the airplane to go by and I turn them this way. And then they face in. It all work. Teeth, cut side, cut side, cut side. Yep. Cut sides the right way. Let's put them back on. It's going to narrow me up a bit this way and maybe get closer to an edge. Less likely to, because I got some uh, wood in there and I'm going to stay between the wood so I have walkways. Oh, I should probably check the gearbox because I think this is going to leak. Still some of it, so it's not a horrible leak. Oh, we need two gas. Well, this hasn't been running a while. Um, and I don't have any regular gas, so it's going to smoke like heck. But I'm going to try some of this old. Chainsaw gas. I don't really want to put an expensive chainsaw anyway. Well, I'm counting on the oil here. I am not counting on the oil.
Ohio. I have to loosen that to get this off. That's what I want to know. Or do I have to take it off to figure out what I want now? Let's take a look. I'm guessing yeah, it's not supposed to be near that far open. Oh, look. They're working. I probably hit ceiling with a goddamn. I see oil in there, so it's still it's still a fuel problem. See the cycles, that's what they are. Alright, well the valves aren't stuck. That's what I was thinking of happening. And let's torque them to 18 volt lithium. How's that? That'd be a nice number. Alright. Now we have a fuel problem. We know we do. You know, it sounds really funky. I took those valves and I turned them in there. In case there was some kind of a seating problem, I'll just make it worse. Nothing else. Turn this before it turned out. Was it the idle one? Half throttle, half choke.
Well, what are we fixing today? All right, air clear back up. Artichoke, artichoke, pork throttle. This pork throttle was heavy. That's interesting. I cranked up the low speed of the idle to the there because it doesn't want to idle. The carburetor is still messed up. I think I just need a new carburetor. But it ain't going to help me this season. Find one for next. If you ever need a carburetor for these things, the number here, like this is M60-5389M that number and the serial number 13080 that's the uh, I think Briggs or Tecumseh number and from there you can get a carburetor so let's see let's see what to do now I think I'm gonna drag it out to the front and uh, I'll put some more gas in it drag it out to the front and see if I can use it What could possibly go wrong? Not well, it is sketch. <laughs> I was gonna say not completely sketch, but yeah, pretty much.
we normally transport uh, tillers is you start them up and you don't let the thing dig, but you let it propel you. But it's a little tight in here. I'm getting it up higher with the wheelbarrow. I thought it was my best shot. Oh. Not through that. Yeah, someday. Get rid of that crap. Oh, sorry for the heavy breathing. I'm an old fat man. Sometimes you get that. There's the other reason why I wanted the uh, wheelbarrow, because I'm up higher now, and there's a big step down there, so, let's see. Warm? Okay, we're gonna go for the middle one first because it's the easiest, I hope. Now, next thing to do is to set this. This is what makes it dig. This holds it back while the front spins. Okay. 
interesting. Pissing out of oil now. I gotta get this out of here quick. Well, you know what that sound was? That was the sound of the motor. Well, that was fun. Why is there oil everywhere? What was that big clunk? I guess I don't have to buy a carburetor. Well, not just a carburetor. We'll figure out where the hole is. Let's see it there. She absolutely let loose, though. I don't see the hole there. Oh. Yep. There's part of it. That's definitely part of the hole. There's more oil on this side. Oh! Look here. Broke. 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 She is broke, broke, broke. Oh, yeah. 
think. I don't know. I don't think she'll be running much anytime soon. Yeah. Oil. 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 Well, I got that much tilled. And I got that much almost tilled. And that section we didn't quite get to. That's going to be it for us for today. Uh, till next time, always make sure your brigs don't blow up. Did I check the oil? Yeah. Bye.